This is the biggest zombie apocalypse the GTA dimension has ever seen. Buildings have toppled, society has collapsed, and every minute that passes, the zombies get stronger and stronger. Now I have to travel across the island to reach my escape. Whoa! Ow! Whoa! What happened here? I don't know, but this distress signal is going crazy. Look, there's someone right over there. We better ask them what's going on. Uh, hello? Sir, did you send the distress signal? What are the monsters? It's a zombie! No, get off me! Ah! What? what the? Uh, Chris? You gun just gonna alert more of the zombies! We gotta get out of here! Take this pistol! Meet me at the factory up ahead! Factory? Okay, can't I just come with you? Chris! Uh-oh. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Pretty nice. There's so many of them out there. We gotta hide. Chris, what's going on out there? What happened to the GTA dimension? A month ago, a lab experiment went out of control. People started getting sick, and when they died, they started coming back as zombies, affecting everyone. What? That's insane. Yeah. So, what's the plan, Chris? There's one final plane that's leaving the dimension, but I'm not really sure when it's leaving. We have to get to the airport ASAP. But the airport's on the other side of the dimension. It's gonna take forever. Uh, what was that? No, 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 no. This can't be happening. Wait, what is it? What's going on? The sun is setting and the zombies are more dangerous at night. If we want to have any chance of survival, we need to get my car up and running. It's out of fuel. They're close. Take my machine gun and hold them off while I fuel up the car. Got it, Chris. Okay, Guido, so the zombies are going to be much more dangerous at night. I think a huge horde is approaching. Oh my gosh, they're blasting through the front gates. But not agile enough to survive Chris's gun. It's a pretty good gun, right? <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. And stay out, zombie scourge. Jeez. But there's only one way to take it down! There's a trap on the roof! You have to use that! All the way on the roof? More zombies are on the way! It's the only option! Oh, fine, I'm going, I'm going! That huge zombie is gonna be a real issue, Steve! That our only shot at saving Chris is to get to that trap! But now that I've left my post, this place is crawling with zombies! And the car's not gonna be fueled until I get through them! Steve! Hurry! Just hold on, Chris! Steve, yeah. look! It's working! You did it! Now get down here! Okay, I'll be down there in a second, Chris! With the zombies gone, we're gonna have the car fueled up in no time! Hey, Chris, how's it looking over there? Oh my gosh, no! <sighs> Chris, uh, are you okay? Uh, obviously not! I've been bitten! Well, there's only one thing for it then. Guido! Here, take this map. You're gonna have to go alone. Wait, all the way to the airport? That's gonna be so dangerous. Just shut up and go, Steve. Hurry up. Oh, and the car's only got 54% fuel. Okay, we're just gonna have to take our chances, Guido. But it seems like we've got no choice. Let's get out of here, Guido. Ah! Oh, oh. Sorry, Chris. He was dying anyway. Now let's take a look at this map. So the airport is right there, but it also looks like Chris marked some things on the map along the way. Like, what's this? That's the military base. We've only got one gun. It won't be useful to load up. 
All right, then I guess that's our next destination. Huh, you know what? After being stuck outside, this is kind of nice! Give me that ride, boy! It's abandoned! No! We worked hard to get this car! You're not gonna take it from us! Speed up, Steve! They're right behind us! I'm trying, Guido, but this thing is kind of old and trash! But you know, Guido, that bandit's car is pretty nice! I wonder if we can take it somehow! Oh, jeez, it's got guns as well! Okay, we need it, Guido! And I think I know a way to get it. Let's take it right here! No, 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 no! Perfect! Chris's map says that there's a minefield right here. Now all we have to do is lead the bandit towards it without getting blown up by the mines ourselves. Sounds like a plan. I can help out with that. Scanning the minefield, I'll take a look! And then we'll run! That's it, keep going! No one left! That's it, keep going in a straight line. All the mines are down there. Guido, what the heck does down there mean? You're not giving me very good advice here. Just focus on driving. Who do you think you can run? This city belongs to us. Boom! <laughs> what were you saying? Great job, Steve. You totally destroyed the car. Oh, nonsense, Guido. I'm sure you could fix it up. <sighs> Fine. Hey, there we go. Good as new. Now we don't have to worry about running out of fuel. Oh, and I've also got these sweet guns. Whoa, this is so awesome. That's right, buddy! And guess what? We are super close to the military base now, where we can probably get more guns. But if we want to get inside of the military base, we need to hit a ramp up ahead with maximum speed! Are you ready? I don't think I have my seatbelt on! Well, I'm sorry, Guido, but you don't really have a choice! Woohoo! Oh, no! Nailed it! Oh, but look, Guido, this place is crawling with zombies, too! Now, where are those weapons? Hold on, Guido, who is that? You know, firing your guns isn't a good first impression, Steve. Yeah, I guess not, but it does prevent her from being murdered by zombies. She's heading into that bunker. Dude, she might have answers about how this whole apocalypse started. Okay, yeah, we need to get in there before we break something else. Yowie! Whoa, Guido, look at this place. You think this is where the virus originated from? Yeah, it's gotta be, right? <sighs> what have I done? This could destroy everything. Hey, it's the scientist. Uh, hey, what's going on? What the? How did you get in here? Oh, never mind. Miss Scientist Lady, what's going on? I've been working on a cure for the virus. When used on zombies, it turns them back into their original human forms. But there is an issue. To create the cure, I had to work on the zombies themselves. Those failed experiments became mutated zombies. They're faster, more agile, and deadlier than the average walking corpse. Okay, but look on the bright side. We've got a cure. If I can get this to the plane, I can distribute it over the entire GTA dimension and save it from the zombies. Everyone will be cured. Yes, but if we detach the cure from the machine, the mutants will be released into the world. Oh, that doesn't sound good. So basically, Guido, we have to weigh up whether it's worth the risk. We either leave the cure here and the zombie apocalypse carries on, or we take the cure and release mutants into the world. Mutants. Mutants. Oh my gosh! Go, go, go! Go, Miss Lady! We gotta get out of here! Those things are so dangerous! They're so much faster than a normal zombie! Wait, there's a tank right there! We can wipe out the mutants with one shot! Yep, that's the plan! Come on! Take this and take that! There's no use, me! There's so many of them! Okay, fine. But look, we've got the cure. Those mutants are still out there, Steve. Be careful. So let's just take the car and get to the airport. Come on! Man, Guido, thank the multiverse. The sun is rising again. That was getting really... Oh, no. Huh? What's wrong? I've run out of fuel, dude. Looks like we're gonna have to carry on on foot. Luckily, there aren't many zombies around here, it seems. So we've just gotta navigate through the city and we should be back at the airport. Oh no. Hey, it looks like some military soldiers were situated up ahead. Yeah, but they've been zombified. Uh, oh wait, I know. I'll just try out the cure. I managed to put it in this canister. Yeah, zombie, zombie, zombies. Okay, and let's do something like this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, Guido, it works! Look! Wow! Thank you! You're looking a lot less zombie-like! 
which means we have our own personal mini army. I mean, look, these guys are just following me everywhere now. Come on, guys, this way. I think I spotted... Ah, there it is, just here. We've got, like, an armored vehicle. How convenient, just when we ran out of fuel. Yep, and there's room for everyone. Come on, get inside, guys. Dude, we've even got one of the soldiers on the gun. Those zombies are gonna stand no chance. Dude, things are so much easier when you've got friends here. Well, you did have friends. Ah, uh, yeah, Guido, let's not talk about that. Because look, the airport is just up ahead. We made it! Now, the thing is, this place is crawling with zombies. So on three, guys, we're going to hop out and charge towards the entrance. Are you ready? Huh. Strong as silent types, huh? Okay, three, two, one. Let's go! Run! Go, 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 go! Come on, the zombies are right behind us! Those doors aren't going to hold off the horns! Yeah, I know, Guido. Okay, men, we need to set up a barricade on top of those stairs. It's the only way we'll hold them off. Looks like we can use these desks. Let's beef them up and get in position. Ready. The bunch up on the door opens fire. Where's the wall vulnerable? <laughs> Wait, what was that? <gasps> Mutants! No, we'll hold them off. Thanks, guys. I'm going to try to get to the plane. Whoa, Guido, there are so many zombies down there. Whoa, get out of my way. Oh, jeez, they're all coming up the stairs. This is insane. <laughs> Come on, we're so close. Now it's finally time to get this bad boy up in the air. I floated up the cure. Great job, Guido. Now all we've got to do is fly it over the city and distribute it everywhere. This is going to cure everyone. Oh. <gasps> Guido, look! It worked! Yeah, everyone doesn't look so ugly anymore! And look, they're already repairing the city! We did it! You know, I technically could stay now that everything is back to normal, but honestly, I kind of feel like I deserve a vacation, so let's get out of here! Yeah!